fossil Homo sapiens finger from Saudi desert is 90,000 years old. Washington writers a fossil finger bone dating back about 90,000 years that was inert in Saudi Arabia's Nifud desert is pointing to what scientists are calling a new understanding of how our species came out of Africa in route to colonizing the world. Researchers said on Monday the middle bone of an adult's middle finger found at site called al Wasta is the oldest Homo sapiens fossil outside of Africa and the immediately adjacent eastern Mediterranean Levant region, as well as the first ancient human fossil from the Arabian Peninsula. While the Nifud Desert is now a veritable sea of sand, it was hospitable when this individual lived, the grassland teeming with wildlife alongside a freshwater lake. Our species first appeared in Africa roughly 300,000 years ago. Scientists previously thought Homo sapiens departed Africa in a single, rapid migration some 60,000 years ago, journeying along the coastlines and subsisting on marine resources, said anthropologist Michael Petroglio of the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History in Germany. This fossil of an intermediate phalanx bone, 1.1 inches 3.2 centimeters long, suggests our species exited Africa far earlier. This supports a model not of a single rapid dispersal out of Africa 60,000 years ago, but a much more complicated scenario of migration. And this find, together with other finds in the last few years, suggests Homo sapiens is moving out of Africa multiple times during many windows of opportunity during the last 100,000 years or so, Petroglio said. The discovery also shows these people were moving across the interior of the land, not coastlines, Petroglio added. Numerous animal fossils were discovered, including hippos, wild cattle, antelopes and ostriches, University of Oxford archaeologist Hug Cut said. Bite marks on fossilized bones indicated carnivores lived there, too. Stone tools that hunter-gatherers used also were found. The big question now is what became of the ancestors of the population to which the all Wasta human belong, Browcut said. We know that shortly after they lived, the rains failed and the area dried up. Did this population die out? Did it survive further south in Arabia, where even today there are mountainous areas with quite high rainfall and coastal regions which receive monsoonal rains? Browcut added. Or did the drying environment mean that some of these people were pushed further into Eurasia, as part of the worldwide colonization? The research was published in the journal Nature, Ecology and Evolution.